Hello, uh, I wanted to make a quick video of uh, my play, um, of uh, some, some some play with the, the streets of SimCity. Uh, I am running the PC emulator, PCEM, um, and I followed a really neat guide that I'm going to link on the bottom. This game is impossible to run on Windows 10. Um, there is a really neat guide that gets you 99% of the way there and feels like it's a game that you can play but um, then you encounter the issue that um, it relies on fraps, the program fraps, to do um, CPU throttling or st stepping, I guess, um, because uh, you, the, uh, running it on, P on a modern PC, it get, the frames per second go so high that, I don't know, it messes with the, the AI somehow and the cars bouncing up, up and down. So um, instead, I decided to get this emulator. If you have Windows 7, um, you should be able to use Fraps and it will work fine, at least according to the guide. Um, so I would recommend that. Ooh, this, the, yeah, there is a lot of like lost um, frames. It's still not ideal. Um, I think that somebody would have to patch this game or I think I still need to like mess around with some of the settings to improve performance. I think this actually might be like issues like that existed on the game back then. I mean, I remember Windows 95, you really had to mess around with settings to make things work. Um, it looks like maybe when the AI shows up, it slows down, but otherwise it works pretty good. Um, yeah, I think this is like the only realistic way of playing this game. Uh, I am running Windows 95. Um, all the components to make this run are free and legal. Um, other than the game itself, you have to find um, a copy of the game. Um, uh, yeah, you have to find a copy, so it, that's not free. Um, otherwise, yeah, so th this is how you can play the game. Some of the gameplay. Let's go ahead and exit out. I do want to see if I... You can see how responsive it is otherwise, like the mouse, like it's running pretty well. And I wonder if um, we do low le resolution and turn off some of these things. Uh, I don't want to turn off the textures because I've done that and it looks horrible. And I wonder if that's going to help a little bit. There's a little bit of that flicker. Mm, we're still running into issues. You can't see it here, but I'm only using 50 to 60% of the, the CPU. Not my CPU, as far as I understand, but the actual CPU that I'm emulating. So I'm not entirely sure why it's having issues and why it's losing frames. I wonder if the recording is causing that. No, no, I don't think it's causing that. But it's not really playable. Uh, let's see, is it shift? No, tab? I don't remember how to back up. Oh, I need to change view. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, maybe this will work better? It looks like it has a little bit better. Ooh, I am really battered. I mean, it looks like such a fun game to play. It's vehicular combat. Um, and um, uh, it's made by the same people that made SimCity. And what's really cool is that if you do have SimCity 2000, you can ex export a map and then import it into this game and make it part of the game. I think you can set up a race in there. Ah, this is impossible. Uh, let's go ahead and leave the city and we can look at a different city. I have the sound turned off because I haven't configured the, the graphics, or not the graphics, the sound driver correctly yet. So it's a little bit choppy and it's really annoying. Uh, one cool artifact of the fact that this is a Windows 95 game is that um, every you can do everything uh, using um, your buttons. You don't have to actually, uh, you don't have to use a mouse, which is nice. Let's try a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Let's see what this says. Got the loading screen and everything. I, I do believe that there are some settings that I can I, I can tweak. Uh, I'm not sharing my entire screen, but um, on the tutorial that I, that I read this on, um, it discusses a few patches um, for some of the more common games. And I don't know if they have to do with the PC emulator issues or if they're more having to do with 3D graphics issues. Um, uh, I think one game that it mentions is like Need for Speed 3 or 
Interstate 76, even Quake 2, um, there are, it talks about what the issues are, what the issues aren't, um, how you might have to specify certain flags to make this run better. Um, I, well, let's go read the README. Why don't we, yeah, you can see that it's pretty smooth um, as long as there are no enemies. I'm going like 35 miles per hour. The environment really does feel like SimCity. It feels like zooming in, zooming in really into a SimCity game. This is actually pretty fun. Ooh. <laughs> um, I don't have any weapons. Um, the weird thing, if you just press um, forward, it'll just uh, accelerate. And um, I think it'll stay on that speed, so it feels more like a cruise control kind of setting. No, it slows down. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it is that. It, I guess it, it's more like a real car where it'll just it'll just keep going rather than rapidly accelerate as do a lot of car games. Or not a real car, but I'm I'm not sure. I guess it's just part of the physics. I'm going like 63, and I'm not pressing up, but it's slowing down so slowly that I have to press the back button or the um, down button in order to um, slow down enough to actually. Um, turn so I guess you're tapping the forward the, the, the accelerate button rather than holding it down I guess that makes sense well, that's kind of cool um, do I have weapons I don't yeah I didn't equip any weapons did I well, I'm delivering packages I guess I should need weapons for packages uh, let's see let's go ahead and go to a deathmatch real quick um, the deathmatch was one thing that was really difficult to play um, because uh, yeah where is it continuous fire there we go um, because it would like start stuttering as soon as there's the AI let's go ahead and buy like the oil slick and stuff and see how that plays mm. buy this um, I never played this game as a kid but I remember reading about it and being absolutely blown away by the fact that you could build um, build a city in um, in SimCity and then go off and play this game like that is just like amazing all right so let's load up another level those weird colors do show up for me as well. That's not like an OBS artifact. <sighs> this view is a little bit easier to see, to to uh, to do. Like the inside of the car view is so cool. Like I think for demos and stuff, but for like real gameplay, it's it's nicer to be able to see all around. So spacebar. Okay, so I got the oil slick. I think shift. No. What is it that changes the weapon? No, let's change the view. Interesting. All right, so we're gonna keep it here. Wow, you can really zoom out, huh? Yep, and they are already attacking me, but I have no way to attack back because I, let's look at the controls real quick. Now let's look at the controls. Let's list them all. Oh yeah, how do you cycle through weapons? W, all right. Mine drop, yep. Yeah. yeah, 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 go right behind me. I'll just go ahead and drop a mine. Well, do I have any mines? I don't see it dropping. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I really wish I knew what was causing the frame drop issues. Um, there are some options that I can select uh, from the command line, so maybe we can do that. Um, it, it runs the same engine as Simcopter from what I was reading. Um, like, doesn't this look like a fun game? We need to bring these games back. You know what we need? We need, we need like Rocket League, but like Battle Royale style Rocket League. <laughs> uh, why is the why am I not dropping those? 
strange. All right, let's leave this. Um, so as you can see, it's 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 not really like a game that you can play um, yet, at, at least with my settings. Um, I need to figure out what I can change. There's, you know, this is a, like the PCM. There are so many different things that you can do with it. Um, let me go ahead and back out and, oh, looks like the screen is too big. Let me see if I can resize it. This can be a little bit awkward for a little while because I'm live resizing it as I'm re recording the video. Uh, Windows 95 is like a different um, resolution than the game itself. So let's go ahead and open here and there's a readme. Oh, not WordPad. Oh, if you're a fan of WordPad, you know, you you can you can do that here as well. Uh, all right, moving the slider, blah blah. Lots of options. Run in windowed mode with a W. Mm, software render, I guess, which would not be working well, unfortunately. No, we don't need that. We don't need a different language. So I guess, you know, what we need to do here has more to do with setting up the PCM and hopefully figuring out, um, you know, what what we can do outside of that. Road is in front of my, I love the fact that they listed all these issues. Um, I think somewhere up top it said that this readme was distributed basically last minute information. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Um, it's really cool running Windows 95. Um, I uh, grew up on Windows 95 and 98 on Windows, and so this gave me a ton of nostalgia. Um, there, here's that importer that allows you to load up a city. You can do a race and you can add checkpoints click on the city map to set checkpoints. That is so freaking cool. Um, there's this, I'm not sure what that is, but I saw that in the start menu, it has full names. So this was the urban renewal kit. What is that? Oh, that is so cool. So these things are included in there, included with the game. Uh, yeah, I wanna quit. No, I don't wanna save anything. I don't wanna save anything. Um, so that's pretty neat. I am running uh, the only 3D graphics card that runs on PCM from what I've read. Let me go ahead and show that off real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see there's some issues here. So I'm using the Voodoo 2 3D accelerator, but outside of that display. I'm using the S3 Verge DX and I'm using DirectX 5, which is what came with the, the game. Uh, yeah, so I think it's pretty cool to go ahead and like try this game out. It's just not, it's not playable. Let's go ahead and run the, the CD. So, you know, um, it brings me back to to those menus or to the, the interface that shows up when you like put in a CD, the auto run, that's what it's called. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. It's not a very long. I didn't do a lot of gameplay, but I wanted to show that you can run this game. I think with some tweaking, if I wanted to spend more time on it, I could make this game playable. Um, but since I don't have that much time and I've already spent so much time more playing, trying to make this game work, I, I just don't want to anymore. And I hope that somebody picks up this game. I hope that Maxis tries to remake it or it comes out on GOG or somebody creates like a, a spiritual successor. Um, if you want to know more about the game or or hear more about it, I recommend listening to the New Game Plus podcast. Um, they should have an episode with it coming out uh, sometime soon after this video drops, like in a few days. So, hope you enjoyed my video.